Now we're going to look at overall audio gain. So one of my best tips for you is you always want to edit with your eyes, not your ears. Those headphones, those output levels are liars. Instead, what you want to do is view the recording meter right up here, and you want to have your audio land between minus 12 and minus six, ideally closer to six, but never in the red. The red means your, your voice is out of range and is clipped. Now it's okay if it just kind of pecks the red, but you don't want it to be always in that red. So let's play back this audio, and we're just going to look at the monitor here. You can see it has already added a new track, and it's dropping my voice right in there. We can see my waveform. What? Okay. So you can see that playback, and that was that recording that we did in another video, and we kind of already knew that was gonna land. Let's look at one of the other recordings that we did earlier. So I'm gonna unmute this track, and let's just play this part. Audacity is a free, easy to use, multi- Okay, so this was recorded into my phone, and you can hear the difference in that recording. So this one is a little lower than I would want those levels to be. So let's look at a couple of techniques to fix this audio. First, we're gonna check some clipping. We wanna monitor for that. So we're gonna go up to view, and we've got show clipping on. So that means if we get out of range, if we get past that minus six, we're gonna get a red line that shows that. So our first experiment is going to be manually making a correction. To do that, we're gonna use our envelope tool. So I'm gonna grab my envelope tool, and what I'm gonna do is add some points that are gonna raise my levels up. So I'm just adding one here in the, the middle and notice how it's expanding that waveform. Let's play that back again. Audacity is a free, easy to use, multi-track. Okay, so that definitely worked. So we did move that up a little bit. We might wanna do that again. You can even zoom into that selection if you want to. You can also use that envelope tool to even get more specific in different parts of that waveform. So I'm gonna mute this track. We're gonna go up to this top track and we're gonna try a different technique on this. Okay, so let's watch again. What does multi-track mean? That means you can layer in. Okay, not bad, but it's still a little lower. This time we're going to use the compressor to handle this problem. So we're going to select this entire track. So I just went over to that track selection, track control panel, hit select. So I've got that entire track selected. And then I'm gonna go up to effect and compressor. How the compressor works is it makes the loud parts a little quieter and amplifies other things. So it makes the quiet parts louder. So we want to check a couple of things in here. We want to make sure we have makeup gain for zero decibels checked, and we want to check compress based on peaks. This means it's going to maximize the volume. This means it's going to look at those peaks of the waveform. This threshold is kind of where it decides if something is loud or quiet. So we're gonna start at 12 decibels, and you can do a few runs and experiments on this. Noise floor says anything below this level is noise, and we shouldn't make it any louder. We're gonna leave that at minus 80. The ratio tells the compressor how much quieter to make the loud parts. We're gonna set that ratio at six to one. The attack time, 0.5, and the release time to one. Those controls tell the compressor how fast it should respond to changes in volume. So we're gonna hit okay, and it's gonna do the work. Now remember, we had the clipping on, so we have not clipped any audio at this point. 
So let's play this back. What does multi-track mean? That means you can layer in different types. And so you can see we've definitely boosted that volume. We might be getting a little bit too loud. So we're going to hit Command Z, or you can go to Edit, Undo Compressor, and we're going to try that again. So this time when we go into the compressor, let's try minus 18. And we'll hit OK. Now we've got some clipping, so it's going to be more in the red. So let's watch that. What does multi-track mean? That means you can layer in. So the first time we did minus 12, the second time minus 18. So let's go the other direction. So I'm going to edit undo one more time. And so let's change this. I'm going to go eight. Hit OK. Still getting a little clip in the middle, but let's see where we're landing here. What does multi-track mean? That means you can layer in. And you can see I'm coming closer to minus together. six. So I'm kind of liking that. So the point is the compressor is really just kind of experimentation. Um, you'll want to play around with it. So just note on every subsequent attempt, the only thing you're changing is that threshold, that top value. One of the tips that's cool about this is once you kind of figure out what works, it makes it a lot easier. Another final trick, and I'm just going to Command Z back to the original audio, is to use an amplify. So we're just going to go up to Effect and Amplify. And so what we're going to do is change a decibel volume of this selection. So this one was coming in a little quiet. So I'm just going to move this up. And I like to go about one decibel at a time. There might be some clipping, so I'm just going to allow that. Hit OK. You can see I've got a couple of different pieces where I've clipped. Let's play this. What does multi-track mean? That means you can layer in. OK, and so what it's clipping on is my S. So I might come back with the envelope tool and tweak, tweak that, or I might play with that amplify tool again. So that gives you three different ways to work on your audio gain. One, manually with the envelope tool. Two, with that compressor and three with the amplify effect. So hopefully that gives you some techniques to have the perfect audio level for export.